guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm doing a video on how to do stack leggings if you saw the video before this i really didn't know what i was doing but your girl is a pro now it is that that easy so i don't know if that sounded right that that easy i don't know but i've already done one side of the um of the leggings i'm finishing it up but once i get to the second part i'm going to show y'all like step by step everything I did so yeah okay so my mom showed me how to thread a needle I did not know that earlier I did not know how to do that at all but all you got to do is take the thread or whatever take the thread and then you put it through a hole of course and you pull it all the way through until it meets the other end so like if it was still on here and this was like at the end of this the first piece that you pulled out you're gonna pull it all the way down until it's even with this and then you're gonna have two pieces or whatever let me undo them okay i'll see how i got two pieces of um thread oh, i can't see this two pieces of whatever i'm horrible at tutorials if y'all know how to um do a little thread thing just look it up i'm sorry <laughs> okay my needle is threaded i have this much thread this is what was left over, but it's going to be enough for these. Okay, so the bottom, okay, I already did this side or whatever. But, of course, you need to have two set of leggings, two pair of leggings. Now you get what I'm saying. Okay, so two tights or whatever. I, like I said, I'm not good at tutorials, but all right, okay, let's get into it. So these were the tights, but, of course, I just cut them, cut them. And I ended up with two of these. And so what you do is, once you get this, go ahead and turn it inside out, so you won't forget. Turn it inside out, and then you're gonna get the other one, like the whole legging that you're gonna put on, and you're going to put this on top of this. And so earlier I was just like doing this, trying to push it down, and that's too much, so it would be easier to just put it on your arm and then grab this other end and pull it like this. Very easy, very easy. So, this is like, it's not hard at all. So, what you do next is you have to make sure the seams are lined up. Like the sides or whatever of each um, each legging. You gotta make sure they are lined up. Okay, so what I mean is... The inside of both of them, y'all see how that's lined up with that. My nail's ugly, don't mind it. But yeah, that's lined up with that. And then when you sew them, you're going to sew right above this. Well, right under this. Like, right under it. Let me show y'all how I did the other one. Probably can't see the thread because it's black. Well, yeah, it's sticking up. Like, right under it. You want to stay as close as possible. And, like, on this side, I was, like, literally right up in there kind of straight away on this part but yeah y'all get it okay so once you have lined those up you just get the sewing like right there under the um seam or show it all <laughs> okay y'all so i am at the end of sewing this one let me sit down so y'all can see what i'm doing or whatever so once you get to the end to make sure it stays i just do a bunch of little crazy little loops or whatever in the same spot like over and over again to make sure my thread stays oh hold on don't want it too tight now not too tight okay how would just stop and then for some reason i do i do a little knot i feel like that helps i don't know my mom didn't do a knot earlier but i just feel like it helps you know to make it to keep it in place okay now that is that I'm about to cut this piece of thread and show you guys my stack leggings. Before I show y'all, look how much thread I had left. Your girl barely made it. I should have re-threaded before I started on the other side. But let me show y'all how they are now extended. Okay, so you just pull it down. <laughs> and they are now extended. These are my Victoria's Secret tights, y'all. I love these. Uh, uh. <laughs> They're extended.
extend it. Now I'm gonna put them on and show you guys my stack leggings. I'm so excited and proud of myself. Ooh, look at my head. Okay, y'all. So these are my ooh, I almost fell. These are my stack leggings. <laughs> I really could bring them up some more and you know stack them some more, or whatever. And you can always cut the end if you don't want it to be like super stacked or whatever. But I want mine super stacked. <laughs> Oh, it's supposed to be kind of at the back, so still a work in progress. But you guys get it. This is the second pair I've made. The first pair, the part where I sewed was not down as far. It was like right here. So it really didn't look right. I'm about to show y'all what it looked like. Okay, y'all. I got some black leggings that go all the way down. So I'm going to make some stacked leggings with those. And I'm going to show y'all the difference. So, yeah. This is a eye view, bird's eye view. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you make stacked leggings. And if you want them to be perfect, you can make them perfect. These are very messy, but that is the whole concept of how you make them. Keep watching if you want to see me make the little, um, let me flip my camera. Keep watching if you want to see me make the little um, paper clip tank that shirt i've never made that before so it's not really a tutorial for that it's just if you want to keep watching to see how i do it and see how it turns out then keep doing that but if you have already came here for the stack leggings that's all you wanted then you're good to go like that's it oh wait one tip on the stack leggings when you're sewing or whatever make sure you leave like extra room like don't sew it really tight because when you go to put it on and to put your foot through, you're going to bust it. Because I bust mine. Look. Hold on. I bust mine. So now I have to re-sew my stack leggings. I have to re-sew the stack back to it. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I showed y'all how I made the stack leggings. Now, I'm about to show y'all how I made. Earlier, I had them pulled, like, up too far. But they are super cute now. Look at this. Just right. Now, I'm about to make this right here. And there's the shirt. And I got a size 7, 8 from the kids section. So it could be like really tight and fitted or whatever. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start by cutting the bottom of it. So I want it short, but not like short, short. It's going to be a little longer than what the photo is. help with them okay great now I need you to hold on let me see right here oh all right it's gonna be a tilt it's gonna be a tilt what okay hold it oh and it's actually just the front of the shirt. I was about to cut the whole shirt. <laughs> so this can open up it took me about uh, five minutes five long minutes pull 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 cute cute okay now i'm about to put it on hold on let me pull this way so okay now i'm about to put it on okay i definitely need nipple facies but this is what the shirt turned out like i'm trying to see if i like it or not I think I do since it's like my first time making the little clippy penny shirt or whatever. But the little 
the shape I was trying to do, it was supposed to come like more here instead of that being way up there. So it's like I'm trying to like, um, I don't know. I like it though. Shirt, stack leggings, made by me. And I also have another shirt I'm about to make, so stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.